welcome back to my channel. If you guys have seen my part one of my shoe collection video featuring my boots slash booties, I mentioned that I wasn't going to go over my winter boots. And then I realized, if I'm going to be completely honest with myself and with you guys, I totally should include my winter boots into my shoe count because they are shoes, right? And then I realized I definitely need to if I really wanted to get a total accounting of how many pairs of shoes I own because I realized I kind of have quite a few pairs of winter boots without realizing. But before we get on with this video, let me get my disclaimer out of the way. If you guys are brand new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below just because I currently don't have a regular upload schedule. So the easiest way to be notified when I post a new video is by hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you want to make your life a little bit easier, you can hit the bell notification button. I completely did not expect to hit 35 pairs of boots slash booties. I really honestly did not think I had that many pairs of booties. I thought maybe max 20, I think. It, like it's insane the amount I have. No one really needs that many pairs of boots because I am definitely afraid to know in the end how many pairs of shoes I actually own. 2021 may be the year where I put myself on a shoe ban, like no more buying shoes because I definitely do not need that many pairs of shoes. So let's just jump ahead into my winter boot collection video because this is going to be a short one, at least I hope so. So the first pair I figured I might as well throw out there is this pair of Uggs. Actually, these are not Uggs. This is a pair of Kirkland Ugg dupes I picked up at Costco. Um, the only reason why I picked these up was pretty much they're my house shoes. I know this sounds ridiculous, but pretty much working from home, I don't wear shoes. And kind of to get into the vibe of feeling like you're going to work because I've tried the I'm just going to stay in my pajamas all day and not really care really does make a difference if you put on actual work clothes because it does kind of make you feel a little bit more protective. I don't know, it's some kind of psychological effect. In the summer, I was wearing Birkenstocks. Um, so in winter, because my feet were getting cold, I picked up a pair of like Ugg dupes from Costco. So pretty much these are my winter work from home shoes. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys also have a work from home shoes because honestly, wearing boots or heels is pretty much inappropriate for a home environment, especially since all my shoes have been outside. These are strictly reserved for the inside uses only. So next up, I'm gonna go for the more kind of seasonal shoes. We all have rain boots, and I actually end up having like three, four, three pairs of rain boots. More rain boots than one needs. So the first pair is this pair of egg, 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 egg. The brand is Eagle in French, which is egg, I can't pronounce. I. <laughs> I'm completely butchering this name, but I'll just, you'll see the brand name down below. So what attracted me to this pair of rain boots is the fact that it's so sleek and the very fitted shaft because one, I really was probably overthinking this because this was at the time when hunter rain boots were like the trend and everyone was getting it. I just thought the shaft was like a little too wide that rain would fall into it. So I was like, duh, you want a fitted shaft uh, so it prevents rain from falling into your rain boot because that's the whole point of it. Only problem is this is so fitted and my calf is so muscular, this kind of gets stuck. Especially in the summer if I'm wearing a skirt and I don't have tights on or nylons or pantyhose, whatever you want to call them. The sweat from my calf when my leg is in the boot kind of creates a vacuum, like a suction. So I have a ridiculously hard time getting this boot off at work. To the point where at one point my coworker had to tug it off my leg. And even he was like, what the hell is this boot? kind of like stuck to your leg. Mind you, I've had this pair of boots for a good like, I don't know, like 10 years probably. As they've lived through its day, like the heel is kind of like worn, but I just can't bear to get rid of it because it's like this is gonna come in very practical when it rains um, and if I ever needed a tight rain boot. So having faced the debacle of having a fitted shaft rain boot, I decide that no, I need a looser shaft rain boot. So this is a pair I picked up from Coach. I think I spotted these at Winter. So this definitely has like a wider shaft. Um, I can actually fit a pair of jeans in the, into this pair, whereas the, with the other pair, I wasn't able to fit any type of pants in it. It had to be basically 
Bear Lakes. So this one is from Coach. It's from the Poppy collection. This one has served me well, although I did step on some earring on the ground somewhere at work and then it pierced the bottom. So ring does actually get in, but I kind of sealed it with super glue, so I think it's good for now. Everyone, to be honest, just needs a pair of rain boots in your collection just because they come in really practical like when you go horseback riding or when you go play with miniature horses or llamas you kind of want to wear rain boots that you could just hose off the dirt I don't know if I'm the only one who does this but have you guys also experienced this like when it's like super raining during the day you end up wearing your rain boots to work and then at the end of the day it's like super sunny no one wants to wear your rain boots home so I end up legging them back home and that is like a pain, especially if you have to go somewhere after work, you're just lugging two like five pound weights with you everywhere and they're just cumbersome. So I decided I needed a pair of short rain boots. So I ended up getting this pair of Converse rain boots, which honestly, super practical. And the fact that they look like Converse is like a win-win for me because a lot of times people didn't even know this was like a rain boot. I was like, no, no, it's totally like a rain shoe because it just looks like a Converse, but it's completely rubber. I've actually worn these to BC and stepped into the ocean with them and my feet were completely dry like this is a definitely must. Like I think I would recommend like this shoe if you had to get one rain boot in your collection. I would definitely recommend this because it passes off as a shoe rather than like a clunky rain boot so you can kind of look more like inconspicuous. Why do I sound like we're about to like shoplift or something? But you get you get what I mean. Like it doesn't look like a full on rain boot. My new nowadays I've seen so many cute rain boots like there's Chelsea style rain boots like what I was buying these those styles did not exist like Melissa jelly flats were kind of like becoming the rage at that point point. and obviously having three pairs of rain shoes was not enough I decided to pick up another one this one actually got at an UGG sample sale so there was like it was ridiculously cheap some girl threw it back and I decided like I this looks cute because it kind of looks like a moto boot so I really do love this boot and it's super light super warm so I can't really complain because I think it got it for like $75 which is insane for an UGG boot and this is like a current model so I just lucked out on these so this is like my last pair of rain boots I believe. Moving on to my Ugg boot collection. Yes, I have an Ugg boot collection, I've just realized because I have a few pairs, believe it or not. And they're not the traditional Ugg boot pairs. The next pair I have is this combat boot. I also picked it up at the same time. I picked up the rain boot. I love this pair. I live in this pair every winter. I should like take care of it more. It's just like, it's such a like inconspicuous looking winter boot because it just looks like a combat boot, but it's surely lined. Super warm. I can't complain. The only thing I do complain is I sometimes do lose my sock in it. I don't know. I think it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not wearing the right socks or just not knowing how to wear socks appropriately. I don't know. Like boots and socks for me is a disaster. The next pair of Ugg boots I've had for a super long time. This is, goes back to my university days, I think. I can't bear to get rid of them. I just have a hard time wearing them. So it is this pair of Ugg boots. This was way back before Uggs became super popular. I just love the aesthetic of this boot because it's just suede, it has this buckle detail. It kind of has like a very winter wonderland vibe thing to it. Um, it has actually decent traction. The only problem I have with this boot is the fact that this boot is ridiculously hard to get on and off your foot. And I knew that trying the shoe on, I figured it kind of just needed like a breaking in point. Like the more I wore it, the more easy it would be to get my foot in and out. I was dead wrong. I've ruined so many pairs of socks trying to jam my foot into the shoe. I just can't bear to get rid of it. I don't know why, like it's just, it's such a nice looking Ugg boot. And they don't make Ugg boots that look like this anymore, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's so hard getting in and out. I tried giving them to Lily, but they're a little too big for her. If you guys have any tricks on how to get your foot in and out of boots that are a little too snug, especially around this part, let me know because it breaks my heart that I can't wear this pair of boots. I really do love them. Um, but yeah, I don't wear them at all. I haven't worn them in years because I've gone through like 20 pairs of socks with these. That's how, it, how much of a struggle it is. So my next pair of Uggs is the more classic traditional one but with like a little bit of an edgier vibe. They kind of have these buckles that make it look like a moto boot. I give props to all those people who wear Ugg boots as winter boots because I have no idea how you guys do it because these boots have zero traction. I can see you guys 
surviving a nice fresh snow day but when it's icy and slippery forget it you guys are like slipping and sliding on the sidewalk I actually don't wear these as much as I should because I really do love the look of them but I think it's probably because of the lack of traction honestly this winter I should bust them out because we have zero snow right now like we did not have a like a winter wonderland Christmas we had rain so anything that was out there is probably like washed away so I guess I should bust these out honestly but I need to get a spray for them first the next pair of winter boots I have is this pair of fry boots I actually don't know the name of this pair I actually kind of regret purchasing these um, at the time I just kind of wanted like a low shaft boot especially since I was spinning a lot um, and I would go directly from work and then during winter, when I would be done with my spin class, I usually just threw on a pair of sweatpants. So with my old winter boots, the shaft was a lot higher. So I would have a hard time stuffing my sweatpants into the shaft of the boot. So I figured I needed like a low shaft boot, which would make things much more easier and I wouldn't have like kind of that gap between the boot and the sweatpants. But honestly, these are like half a size too big. I kind of convinced myself they would fit if I wore thick socks. And yeah, they just... Like, I feel like if they were just a smidgen higher, I would have been completely rocking these. These were definitely like a regret purchase. I should have returned them, but I didn't, and I kind of regret that. So the next pair of winter boots I have is this pair of Pajar boots. This was my alternative to the Ugg winter boot. You guys know which Ugg boot I'm talking about, the all-season waterproof Ugg one that everyone and their mother and grandmother had. I just refused to jump on that bandwagon, and I kind of regret it. Not that this boot didn't serve its purpose. This boot really is like a well-made boot. Pajar is actually a well-known Canadian company known for their winter jackets and winter boots. The only complaint I have about this boot is the fact that I also kept losing my sock in it but other than that the height was perfect. I didn't have any complaints about it. So this is my second to last pair of winter boots. The last pair of winter boots I have is this pair of Sorrel Tofino boots, I believe they're called. I've had this pair of winter boots for a few years now. They've served me well. I think I need to get rid of them, but I just can't convince myself to get rid of them. Because I think water does get in, but it could be also me trying to justify the purchase of a new boot at the time. But I love this pair of boots, especially the fact that I had a high shaft. I don't know if it's just me, but every time I walk in winter, especially if it's a snowy, slushy day, I tend to kick up a lot of slush for some reason, so I get salt stains on the back of my pants. So I love the fact that this has a higher shaft, so this kind of just catches all the salt um, stains from it. But the only problem is this was the pair of boots that I had when I would go to spinning and I couldn't get my sweatpants in because the shaft was too high. I do know I could loosen it, but I'm one of those people who don't fuss with laces. I don't like untying them and then retying it. So I would just kind of stick my sweatpants in, but it would kind of sit on top because the shaft was like not wide enough. I know, again, probably first world problems, which is kind of a recurring theme with me of mass consumption. <laughs> but yes, so this is my last pair of boots. I really think I should get rid of them. Actually, no. They come in really handy when you need to shovel and there's not a lot of snow because there's nothing worse than stepping into a snowbank with low boots and then snow just inundating it. Um, yeah, these will be my winter shoveling snow shoes. Okay, I, I gotta go. This, this is this is ridiculous. This sounds ridiculous. If I'm calling this my winter shoveling boots, there's an issue. So this wraps up my winter boot collection videos. I hope you guys enjoy it and stay tuned for the official part two, which is pretty much going to be my sneaker collection. Until then, I will see you guys later. Bye now.